everyone. So I'm down in Daytona Beach, Florida. You can see the beautiful ocean behind me. I've been down here exploring with my son. He's three years old. And a couple of days ago, I believe it was two days ago now, he got some sort of bite, either a spider bite or an insect bite. And I've been keeping a close eye on the redness to make sure it's not spreading. But I wanna show you an easy way to monitor bites to make sure the redness isn't getting worse. And so I'm just going to show you how to mark the skin with a marker. As with most bites, you're going to get some redness from the initial bite. But after two to three days, that redness should be going down. It should not be spreading to a larger surface area. And so by marking the skin with a marker, it's an easy way to monitor whether the redness is getting bigger or smaller. So you can use any non-toxic marker. I'm gonna use a child's washable marker. There are also medical skin pens you can use to mark directly on the skin. And you can also measure the diameter of the redness in case the marker rubs off or washes off. So you want to keep a close eye on the redness to make sure it's not spreading. If it does start to spread or if there are any other symptoms that are worsening such as fever, chills, swollen lymph nodes, or streaking redness, that could indicate a skin infection or cellulitis. And so in that case you would likely require some antibiotics to help fight off that bacterial infection. Alright you guys, so I hope this video was helpful on an easy way to monitor insect bites or spider bites. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.